Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set the clock and also program this coffee maker, this Keurig K-Duo, to come on in the morning. So the first thing is, this is a K-Duo. It has a coffee maker and a K-Cup on one side. You can only program the coffee maker to come on. So this you can program this like a standard coffee maker to come on and brew you a uh, pot of coffee in the morning, whatever time you fix. So we have to set the time first. So when you first plug these Keurigs in, the display is blank, press the power button, the clock is gonna flash. Now, while it's flashing, I'm gonna press these hour minutes. So it only has a PM light. So right now it is 5, 5, 10 PM. If I wanted AM, the PM light would go out and there's no AM light, so make sure you watch that. Once I got the time I want, you confirm it, press the big K, see it's kind of flashing, telling you, hey, press here. Once I press that, time is now set. That's the time, and it will display that time all the time, even when the coffee maker is off. So I can turn the coffee maker off. It still shows me what time it is. That's a nice feature. So now I want to, I want to program this coffee maker to come on in the morning. I'm going to make sure I've got my coffee, my filter. I'm going to put a filter in here. I'm going to put my coffee grounds in here, corresponding to whatever size I'm going to brew. If I'm going to do a full 12 cups, I'll make sure and put 12 tablespoons in there. And again, I want to make sure my water reservoir is full. If I'm going to do a full 12 pot, I got to make sure the water is up to the 12 mark. And again, make sure this is empty. I've had a, view, a viewer commented in that he forgot to empty his coffee maker and he got up in the morning, there was coffee all over. So make sure your coffee pot is empty. So it takes about 10 minutes to brew a full pot of coffee. So 10 minutes before you're ready to drink it, program it to come on and your coffee will be ready to go. I wouldn't program it too far in advance. Coffee can turn a little bitter if it sits there very long. Our time is set. Uh, we got to turn it on. We're going to press this auto button. That changes the clock. Now I'm going to set the clock for, let's do 4 a.m. Let's do 4 and then I'm, then I'm just pressing the hours and the minute button to get what I want. Let's do 4, 15, let's do 4, 16 a.m. There's no p.m. light lit. Once I've got the time set, again, i got to confirm it by pressing this K button. And you'll notice the coffee maker light is lit. So now i got to select, what do I want to brew in the morning? These lights are all flashing. Again, the strong brew only does the cake upside, so that doesn't count on this. So do I want to do a six cup? Do I want to only brew six cups? Do I want to do 8, 10, or 12? And those correspond to here. And I would have the corresponding amount of coffee grounds in there. I'm going to do a full 12. So I press the 12. And i got to confirm it by pressing C. The 12 is going to show up. Press the K button. Now, my little symbol is changed to a clock. That means the auto light is on and the little clock symbol is up. That means this coffee maker will start in the morning. But you may wonder, why is this flashing? Well, it's going to let you do a K-cup still. It's flashing because I can only do a K-cup. When the auto program is programmed and on, I cannot brew coffee. If I want to do a K-cup, I can do a K-cup. I'm over here. I can press the K-cup button and do anything I want. That's not going to affect the auto program. But if I say I want to brew a pot of coffee real quick before the morning, I would have to turn this off. And so in order to cancel the program, I'm going to hit the auto button. That turns the light off. And now it's alternating back and forth and I can pick either the coffee maker or the K-cup. Again, so if I want to turn it on in the morning, press this. You're just going to have to go through and confirm. Yep, that's the time. Confirm. And then it confirmed the 12. Okay, so that I want to, I want to show you this. So it's a little hard to see, but say I want to turn it on again. I've got my times are all set and I'm just doing this the very next day. I hit the auto button. You can't, it's hard to see, but that 12 is lit up. So by pressing the K button, I'm confirming the time and the 12 all in one step. So there I press the K button, it confirms it. I don't have to go through and set the time, but say I want to change the time, press the auto button. Now I can do hours, minutes, I can change the time. Let's do six. I got to hit the confirm button. Then I got to reprogram. What do I want? Six, eight, or 10. I'll do 12. It says 12 and confirm. Now 
it's set. And again, to cancel, just press the auto button. But with the auto button, just press it, hit confirm, it'll do both. I can turn, the, the coffee maker might shut off on, it, it will after five minutes. So you can turn it off. The program is still on. It's The auto light is still on. The power button's off. This coffee maker is going to start still in the morning. As long as that auto light is on and that timer's on, it will start. And it does have a warming plate. So after it brews the 12 cups or 6 cups, that warming plate is going to keep your coffee warm. And you'll know that because that turns red at the end of the brew process. Okay, so I showed you how to, sh to change t to set the time when it is off like when you first set it up. So say during the time change now, my time's already set, but I want to change it. I got to turn the power button on. That's on. I'm going to hold the hour button until it starts flashing. Once it starts flashing, now let up and then press the hour button and set whatever time you need. Once I've got the programs, they're the time set, press the K button. Now I've set my display time. And that's how you do it whenever it's it's already set and you just need to change it. Now it's back to just being a coffee maker. If you got any questions on how to do a program, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Again, thanks everybody for your support. If you could, please like and subscribe.